So are you tired or weary or feel like you're weighed down by burdens? That's a situation that Jesus spoke into. And over the past couple of days, I've been mentioning a book, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. Just really commend it to you. If that's something that you struggle with, this book is easy to read and is a real help in that. It's been suggesting that uh, in our lives, when we are feeling busy or stressed, we tend to actually look to escape and we try to escape in all sorts of different ways. We try to distract ourselves um, from the, the weariness that we feel. But uh, in the end, that doesn't actually help us. And Jesus speaks not of escaping from our burdens or from weariness, but actually being equipped to be able to deal with them. So just a little quote from the book. This is why Jesus doesn't offer us as an, an escape. He offers us something far better, equipment. He offers us, his apprentices, a whole new way to bear the weight of our humanity with ease. At his side, like two oxen in a field, tied shoulder to shoulder, with Jesus doing all the heavy lifting, at his pace, slow, unhurried, present to the moment, full of love and joy and peace. And so they're describing there what it is to be yoked with Jesus. And a yoke was something that they used in biblical times, and they would, in that way, connect two oxen together. And the more experienced one would be the one that bears the weight and shows the way. And that's what Jesus is offering, that we can walk together with him. And so that book goes on to explain uh, some of the ways that we can be yoked to Jesus in ways that help us to ease the burden and the weariness of life. Not to escape from it, because that's impossible, no matter what we try and do but to be equipped to bear that weight and uh, to be able to journey through life uh, in life in all of its fullness. So I do bless you today and I hope that you're encouraged to, to take this time that we have during this most peculiar season that we're in. It's one of my real concerns that as people discover that they've got more time, uh, they're immediately trying to fill it and say, well, how do I fill my days? How do I distract myself? I just want to encourage you to go deeper than that and not to distract yourself. But how do you connect with Jesus in a way um, that these days are not a burden? They're not something that are just frittered away, but something that help you to enjoy life, even in the midst of all that we're facing.